the race to go back to the moon just got tighter. See, a few years ago, NASA said it wanted two companies to build lunar landers for its Artemis mission, which aims to return humans to the moon for the first time in around half a century. But then, last year, the agency said it was only awarding one lunar lander contract to SpaceX. That decision drew criticism from rival bidders like Jeffrey Bezos's Blue Origin, who called it a mistake and a missed opportunity, and even tried to sue the government because of it. But now, Bezos might be able to get back in that race. See, the Biden administration recently proposed boosting NASA's lunar budget and sketched out plans for further increases in the years ahead. It is a significant increase over last year's budget. The money hasn't received congressional approval yet, but NASA is already inviting companies to bid to build additional landers to carry astronauts to the lunar surface. So if NASA is going to go back to the moon, who is trying to take them there? And why is this race so important for them? Let's find out. Okay, to understand what's up for grabs, you need to know what the different elements of the Artemis mission are, because the path to the moon has a lot of moving parts. First off, there's the Space Launch System, a huge rocket made by Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and others, which will be used to propel a crew capsule into space. That crew capsule is called Orion, and it's made by Lockheed Martin. Now, Orion won't land on the moon, but will instead hang around in lunar orbit and act as a kind of initial base for people going down to the moon's surface. And NASA also has long-term plans to build something called Gateway, kind of like a truck stop in lunar orbit. To get from Gateway or Orion to... That's one small step for man. You need a different spacecraft that can take you from lunar orbit down to the lunar surface and back. And that's where those lunar landers come in. One of those lunar landers will be built by SpaceX. Essentially, SpaceX has been hired to use a version of Starship to take astronauts from Orion and transport them down to the lunar surface. Starship is the vehicle of the future for SpaceX. It's meant to be their rocket and space vehicle to handle the most ambitious, deepest space flights and missions in the future. According to NASA, SpaceX was chosen as it had proposed the lowest initial price. But now that NASA is potentially getting some extra funding, the agency is on the hunt for a second lander provider. And that's where Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin could come back in. Now they have another chance, potentially, to bid on this, this new round. Blue Origin was part of a group that initially proposed a design that had separate descent, ascent, and transfer units. The lander was to be constructed in conjunction with other companies, including Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, which Blue Origin referred to as the national team. After SpaceX won the original bid for proposing that lowest initial price, Bezos offered to knock up to $2 billion off the cost of his project, and offered other benefits to NASA too. His company also published this infographic criticising SpaceX's approach, but NASA didn't change its mind. They said they essentially had budgetary constraints and, and couldn't sort of commit to two different options at that time. But now, if that funding passes, the company said after NASA announced this that they're ready to compete. But you may wonder why this mission is such a big deal for SpaceX and Blue Origin. After all, both companies have successfully sent people into space independently of NASA. Well, part of it is about securing future lucrative contracts with NASA, as the agency isn't just planning on returning to the moon briefly, it has plans to establish a sustained presence there. We expect to land about once a year for more than a decade. As part of its new funding, NASA is giving more work to SpaceX to land people on the moon under its existing contract. But for these companies, the Artemis mission could serve as a launch pad for their bigger ambitions. See, both Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk have said they have plans to turn the human race into an interplanetary species. I think this is just an incredibly important thing for the future of life itself. If, if that's your, your sort of big goal, you want to be deeply immersed and involved in the, the particular programs as they come up. Taking humans back to the, the lunar surface is a, about as high of a profile of a mission as you can imagine. So buckle up, because while this race may be getting pretty interesting, the moon may be just the beginning. Hey, the last time we went to the moon was for the Apollo 17 mission, and the astronauts there spent three days on the lunar surface. So now you know. And if you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.